Hey guys, it's Little Creature Care here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this DIY dry hermit crab food. This is a great way to ensure that your hermit crabs are getting the proper nutrition and the proper calcium, protein, and minerals that they need to grow and be healthy without having um, the preservatives that you would find in store-bought dry food. This is also a great way to make sure that your hermit crabs are getting the proper nutrition while you're away on vacation. If you don't want to give your um, pet sitters the hassle of cutting up fresh food, you can whip this up and ensure that they are getting what they need while you're gone. Okay, so let's get started. Hey guys, so these are all the materials that you're gonna need. First of all, you're gonna need an oven, which is kind of obvious because we're gonna be drying food. And you're gonna need all the material, or you need all the foods that you want to put in. Um, make sure that they're all safe for hermit crabs. I'll leave a link in the description of all the safe foods that hermit crabs can eat, and I'll leave a link of all the unsafe foods. And this, and you're gonna need a mortar and pestle, pestle. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. It's just meant to crush things up. Then you're gonna need pans. Uh, you're gonna need quite a bit of pans, depending on how much food you want to make. And then instead of greasing the pans, I just have these silk screen things. Um, you don't need these. You can just grease the pan. It doesn't really matter. But I just use these. And then you're going to need a cutting board. So that's all that you need. So before we get started cutting anything, we just want to preheat our oven to 250 degrees. So we're going to go bake. 50. And while we're doing that, we're going to go over and cut all of our food. Here is all of our food. You just saw this. And now I'm just going to cut it up. Obviously, I'm not going to use the full thing. And I'm going to do quite thin pieces so that it takes the littlest amount of time for it to cook or um, dry fully. Now you just want to put all of the food you just cut onto the pans, so I'll just do that now. Once you ever have everything on and your oven is completely preheated, you can just slide in the pans. Okay, so after about two hours, some of them seem to start um, drying and some of them seem to be completely dry. So I took out the bell peppers, those seem to be dry. Normally the ones that take the longest are, sorry, my dog's playing with the ball in the background. Some of them that take the longest are the banana and the apples. So I'm gonna put this back in for an hour, but once you find them, Daisy, <laughs> please be quiet. So once, you um, you can pick out the dry ones and um, then throw them in here and then crush them up and then put them in your mix. Right now I just have a ton of greens and then the um, rose petals which dried fairly quickly and so did the eggshells. And um, so all that's in there and I have a bunch of greens and stuff. I have some oats. I have just plain Cheerios because those are just oats. And, um, and then I'm adding the bell pepper and whatever is dry on here. So, yeah. All right, guys, so this is our finished product. Everything in here is completely natural, so you know exactly what is in the hermit crab food, and you know exactly what you're giving them. This is just a great and cheap alternative to the dry food that you would find in pet stores. And you get a lot more for a lot less um, money with just a little bit of work. So, um, once I finished, I just put it in a container that I had, and you want to make sure that it is airtight so that you can store it and keep it for a very long time. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Um, leave a comment down below if you tried this out or if you want to try it out or how it turned out if you tried it out. So, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in another 
video.